How do you calm yourself down when you are frozen with anxiety? Are you listening? Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. And this one came in from Stu on Facebook talking about like wanting to do so many things but just not being able to get started because of being frozen in the grips of anxiety. If you haven't already, please just click the subscribe button. It'll help me out. You're viewing this, that's a good start. Like the video, maybe share the video. And if you've got a question relating to anxiety or you want to know my take on anything, drop it in the comments below and I will do my best to get back to you. So I think what Stu is asking is like, if you're stuck in the cycle of anxiety and you're frozen with this stuff, like how do you actually get started? How do you bring yourself to get out the door or to do whatever it is, make a phone call or meet a friend or just do something, whatever it is that's keeping you in the cycle, how do you break the cycle? Now I've been in this cycle many times, I've been stuck or what feels like stuck and I guess this boils down to courage. I think that would be the thing, it's like you need to muster up the courage to just take a step because what I've found in my several years of living with this crap is that I can get stuck in a rut and I can feel bad even when I'm at home and that like it doesn't necessarily mean I need to go out to feel anxiety, I can just be at home having panic attacks, I can be stuck, like not in my room, I'm not like bed bound with this, haven't been yet, touch wood, but I have been housebound, I've felt like I just can't do anything, I can't face the world, I don't want to speak to anybody, I can barely move off my sofa, if I do then I'm feeling all kinds of sensations and that kind of crap, but the only way that I've ever really found myself being able to release that grip, I say we call it a grip that it has over us, is by getting up and doing something, actually putting myself under pressure, like whether it's going out, even if it's just for a drive, or going out for a walk, or going to the local shop, or just doing whatever it is, not massive scale, like I'm not talking about going to freaking Asda, Walmart, and going into the deepest part of the supermarket. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a real small step, like really break it down. So it's, I don't know if you're completely terrified of doing anything, then just open your front door and walk to the end of your path. Like that kind of small step, just something that gives you a tiny, tiny bit of confidence. Maybe it will motivate you to try again tomorrow, but that's, my suggestion on breaking the cycle, do something different. You can't sit at home and expect things to change. You've got to get up, you've got to get out, you've got to push yourself. And I know how difficult it is, and I know that you probably feel like crap, but you've got to make a change, you've got to do something, you've got to push yourself. Because when you do these things and you realize that you don't collapse, you don't die, you don't go mad, you don't have a heart attack. You're able to do this stuff, and yes, you might feel uncomfortable, you might have anxiety, but you do it, and you survive, and it gives you a bit of confidence, and then you go again, and then you go again, and you keep building and building, and that is how to bring yourself down when you're frozen with anxiety. Because I think we're talking about anticipation here, the anticipation of doing anything, and it doesn't get any easier until you do it and you keep doing it because that's what I've been doing. So I'm actually speaking from 100% experience. Like this is what I've been doing lately. The more you do this stuff, the easier that it gets. And I still feel anxious and I still feel symptoms and sensations daily, but I know that I'm in no danger. And the only reason that I know that is because I keep doing the same thing and I keep having the same results. I get through it every day. I get through whatever it is that I'm trying to tackle. So the anticipation slowly starts to dissipate when whatever it is that you're thinking is gonna happen doesn't. That's the answer to the question. 
How do you move forward when you're anticipating anything? You've got to just move forward, unfortunately. You have to move forward and prove to yourself that you can do it. Because you can. Thank you.